welcome to the Flash banner ad demonstration. We'll be showing how to set up a basic Flash animation with text boxes. Then we'll do an image sequence banner. And finally, we'll show how to link a company logo to the company's website. To start, we can see three different text boxes on page one of this demo. Open the interactive palette, and under object, we can see that we have copy underscore text one, copy underscore text two, and product underscore title. These items have already been made interactive. Now, preview the document and we'll see what happens. It starts with the product name, then our copy, two lines that slide up, then slide to the side. This is followed by page two, which is an image sequence. And finally, page three, which is a dramatic drop-in of the title and copy and a way for the user to click through to the Quark website. Now, close our preview and we'll review how this banner was created. Within the interactive palette, we see our objects from page one. In the script tab, we can click on page one product title and see the actions that have been assigned to it. We see that it's been set at show object and the object is our title. The five second delay keeps the title there. Then the object slides to the left for one second. Next, we'll look at page one text flow script. This script starts by running our previous script, the one called page one product title. The delay is then set to be the duration of that other script. So once the first script is done, the next action begins. That action is slide object copy underscore text underscore P1. It slides in from the bottom, delays for three seconds, then slides out to the left. Then the second tagline, text two, follows the exact same path. The final action in this script is display next page. This automatically goes to the next page and our effect is fade, transparent in, and it lasts one and a half seconds. From the page layout window, let's click on page two of our flash banner ad. Here we have an image sequence and an image sequence path. Let's take a look at this. At the bottom of your work window, click on the image flash tab. This is a separate document that's been made into shared content. If we go to layout, then layout properties, we can see it's called image flash. It's an interactive layout, specifically an image sequence, and it's a custom size. In our page layout window, we can see the different images in the sequence by clicking the different pages. If we preview it, it will loop and we can see the image sequence in action. Close the preview and we'll have a look at the shared content window. Here we can see the image flash file and see that it's shared content. Once the shared content image sequence is placed, it automatically becomes an interactive object. Type is animation as we can see in the interactive palette. Now the display is sequence on a path Sequence is image flash set at 12 frames per second. The path it follows is the image underscore flash underscore path, which itself is an interactive object. Here we can see the path is a basic object initially hidden. It never displays, it's just a path for the image sequence. Now, back to the sequence. We see its path is chosen already and it's set to initially hidden. If we hit the specify button, we can set the motion path for this object. Here we can change direction and we see the path from start to finish. Back to the script tab and we'll click on our page two image flash. The first thing in the script is show object image flash our sequence. It's set to zoom in for a duration of three seconds. Then we must include a play animation action 
to get the sequence to play. Then we have a 2.5 second delay, and then we show object flash enabled, which is our second object in the document. With a series of actions and delays, the rest of the objects will also appear. In addition, we have included some actions to hide objects. Finally, at the end of this script is another display next page command, which will take us to page three. Let's take a look at that now. From our object tab, we see there are two text objects. In the scripts tab, we see the scripts for that page. This is unique as it's a fade transparent in while it slides in at the same time. then a brief delay, and then we show the second object with a curtain horizontal transition lasting half a second. Finally, if we go to our master page in the page layout window, we can click the Quark logo, then look at the interactive palette object tab. This object isn't hidden, so there's no show object effect. In the event tab, we can see that when the user clicks down, our action is to open URL. So the URL is open and ours is defined as the Quark website. We do this by setting an external file reference, naming it, choosing the URL, and entering the information. Now, when we run this file, we'll see all of the effects. Another bonus is the fact that we can duplicate this entire document, including all of the effects for another banner ad. So we go to Layout, Duplicate Layout, and name it Quark Copy Desk. Click OK, and we can go in and change the information change the color of text, boxes, and even images without reprogramming, and our banner will work the same. This concludes the Flash Banner Ad Demo.